Hi, I'm Andrew Hazelden, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a simple project with Micro C Pro for PIC. We are going to write iHeartMicro C on an LCD display. This will require us to create a custom LCD character. For this project, I'm using a microchip PIC 18F4685 microcontroller connected to a Microelectronica EasyPIC development board. You can download the source code for this project from my blog at www.andrewhazelden.com. Open up Micro C. From the project menu, select Open Project. In the Open dialog, select LCD.MCPPI and click Open. This is the project file for the iHeart Micro C project. This project requires an EasyPIC development board, a 16x2 LCD, and Micro C Pro for PIC. The LCD display is configured using SBIT commands at the beginning of the source code. This example assumes you're connecting the LCD display to the standard position on the EasyPIC development board, which is on port B. The main function contains the required initialization commands to start working with the LCD display. We're going to start by writing the simple text, hello there, on the LCD display. Click the build icon to compile the code. In the message window, the compiling information will be displayed. The code should compile successfully and use less than 1% of the available ROM storage space. Click the Program button to download the code into the microcontroller. The Microelectronica PIC Flash utility will load and the code will start downloading. During the flashing process, the programming light will light up on the EasyPIC development board. Once the code is finished downloading, the text Hello There should appear on the LCD. Now, let's change the text. Close the PIC Flash window. Back in the source code window, delete the LCD Hello There line. We're going to create the text I Heart Micro C, where the heart is actually a custom heart shaped LCD character. Let's type the static text first. First, let's add the letter I. Let's position the character on row 2, column 4. Now, let's add the word Micro C. This will position the word Micro C starting on row 2 at column 8 on the LCD. Now let's create the custom LCD character. From the Tools menu, select LCD Custom Character. The LCD Custom Character Editor lets you draw the LCD character visually and then convert it into code. By turning on the individual pixels, you can define a custom character glyph. A preview of the final result is displayed in the preview section. We will be using a 5x7 character, so select Font 5x7. Click Clear All to clear the work area. Let's draw a heart-shaped character by turning on the individual pixels. Once you have a character you like, click the Generate button to create the code. In the Code window, click on the Micro C tab. This is the code required to create the custom LCD character that we just designed. Click the Copy to Clipboard button to copy the code. Click the Close button to close the window. Now that we have the code for the LCD character, we can close the editor window as well. Let's paste the custom character code above the main function. Click on line 38 and from the Edit menu select Paste. The line Constant Car Character contains the code that generates the custom character. Click the Build button. The compiler is giving us an error on line 44 due to the LCD return home identifier. Let's add an underscore to correct this problem. Now click build again. The code now compiles correctly. Let's refer to this custom character in our main function. This code has been added to our program but has not been referenced from the main function yet, so it will not display on the LCD. 
scroll down to line 57, which is the line after we draw the letter I on the screen. Let's call the custom character function to draw the heart shape at row 2, column 6 on the LCD screen. Click build to test the code for errors. Since the code compiled successfully, let's flash it to the PIC. Click the program button to launch the PIC flash programming utility. If we look at the LCD screen, it now displays iHeart Micro C. Well, that was a fun project. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more cool projects, check out my blog at www.andrewhazelden.com.